but when I'm when I'm forming my triangle, it it needs to serve a purpose. I'm either I'm either blocking his shoulder from coming forwards. So if Pete tries to reach that arm forward, yeah, I'm maintaining a triangle here, a pyramid, right? And obviously, if he starts to get this, I really want to drop down. And again, it's the iliac crest. I can start, if I get like connected to that iliac crest, I'm pulling him down. So the point is, is this is either, when I'm doing this triangle, it's either blocking his shoulder, so this can't come forwards. So I've got this kind of ability to push his arm into the, into the roll. Notice this has nothing really to do with choking him. I've not remotely tried to strangle him because these tendons are pointing into his trapezius. They're nowhere near that. So what I'm saying, Joe, is you don't really want to be sort of like here because that's not blocking that. And it's sure as hell ain't choking him. It's not choking him. Yes, yeah, so if I'm like that, if I sort of do this, I, I don't have anything. So this is really what my point is: is that I'm 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 here doing this really as a default. If he tries to bring, we did this on Friday. I put a video out. If he tries like crazy to fight this all the way through, this is when I go to belly down. I go to belly down arm locks on the flowers. I backward rolled. But this really, from a control point of view, wants to be stopping that shoulder coming forwards. Yeah, it's stopping it coming forwards. And if he starts to get a good angle, I'm bailing off of this and going back to the close guard. I'm not, I'm not forcing anything. He's on top. So when we form this structure, we're here. If I've got the arm all the way broken down here and pushing his wrist and now it's like, okay, now I'm, that's a different world. That's choking, that's chopping his head off. But it's knowing that I've put him into a forward roll. I've had my bridge, I've controlled the distance. And now I'm pulling the trigger on his carotid with these because the job's been done. <coughs> yeah. Any questions on that at all? So the first job is about breaking him down again rather than trying to sling a triangle up immediately. Yeah, well, well if, when he throws a triangle up, he's forming that pyramid from the bottom. So I just need to mirror it. And not mirror it for too long, because he bails on it and connects his sitting bones on my earlier crest. I'm getting pulled back in here anyway. It might not be a triangle, it might be a back tape, but I mean, it drag back into a forward roll. Or, a, or a, you know, I get to here, okay, I'm not in forward roll, but my arms are on the ground, he can take my back, he can attack my arms. I'm preventing a forward roll. But it creates more opportunities for him because he's getting into that broken forward roll type posture. He's like, the ideal for him, of course, is that. And we talked about even in the leg locks, if Pete is wrapping up my leg, he doesn't want this leg on this side, he wants that leg on that side. And the more he stuffs my, the more my leg ends up down here, the less I can move. And then he's just going to adjust onto that heel. Yeah, this is the whole heel hook game. But when he goes for the heel hook, of course, that is where separation, so, so it's the same thing. But, the, but it's much easier for him uh, to defend everything, to control the position when the, arc, the leg is on this side and he starts triangling, so he triangles his feet. It's all the same game. So I was trying to put the the finish on before I didn't Well, you were stuck in the middle. I don't think the finish was close, yeah. but you, were, yeah. you weren't blocking his shoulder either. Mm. So the game is about going from here to here, knowing when, control, mm. submission. Yeah. And that's that distance. I can feel the pulse on his neck right now. But I, I only want that when, when he's broken down in the forward roll. If I start doing this, it's going to fail. So it's the first part of that triangle, you get a bit of control, get your leg up, blocking your shoulder. You're forming a bridge, yeah. Yeah, form your triangle, and um, if, if you can put him in a forward roll, then you might go for the finish, the yeah. yeah, Yeah, because he's a sitting duck, and he can't move. He's in a forward roll from which he can't actually complete the roll, unless you open your legs. Maybe you can complete a forward roll then. But if it's not happening for you, then you might 
truck your legs down into guard and do something like that. Yeah, well, you're going to make them forward roll, but you're going to make them forward roll at the hips, yeah. Yeah. usually with the intention of trying to take his back. Yeah. And then by threatening the back take, all manner of things may open up. The triangle comes back in, the arm lock comes back in, because he's defended, he doesn't want his back taken. That's the game, yeah. Um, let's just have a, have a play with that controlling posture. 